What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am in a 2018 F450 and it's got 396,627 miles. We are having a problem with the ABS module. This is a new one. I'm going to be installing a new one. And uh, I'll show you where that's located. Driver fender wheel. It is right there. It's got four little E5 screws that hold it in. But we have to do the PMI process first. So what I'm going to do, go to the box here, self-test. I want to go ABS. The code may not be here because it, it happens sporadically. It will say hill assist to start, not available, traction control. It just, just does a whole bunch of random stuff. And the pinpoint test had led me to the ABS module, which I'm going to have to install. And we're going to do a PMI process. I see it pass right now. What is this 051? Steering wheel position sensor. Lost communication with body control module. Lost communication with ECM. And that's the code that it keeps popping up every now and then. Um, we're going to clear that out. And then I'm going to go to PMI. And PMI is Programmable Module Installation. Exit out of here. Exit. Go up to my little toolbox. And then I want to go module programming. And then I want to go PMI. Programmable module installation. ABS. The ignition switch is on. Go down here and hit my little tick mark. Please wait. Please wait. After we do the install, when it tells us to, you plug everything back in. Set the ignition switch off. All right, ignition switch is off. Hit my little check mark. Install a new module in the vehicle. So that's what we're gonna go do. Using the little <laughs> Zero drive, courtesy of zero drive. Up here, I'm gonna need both hands to do this here in a minute. But there's four screws. I can show you on this one. One, two, three, four. It's up there like this. One, two, three, four. Come out. Pins and everything look good. I'll hold that over here. Um, so I like this zero drive ratchet, it gets into tight spots. So I'm going to take these bolts out and I'm going to get this new module installed because I'm going to need both hands and then we'll come back. Okay, last bolt. They do come with new bolts. New bolts. Old ones are right there. Old ABS module. I'm on my last bolt right here. in this top. I'm 
turn the flash on. So. so, tighten this guy up. Start it with my hand, plug it back in, and finish the programmable module installation. And that's why I like this zero drive ratchet that I'm about to use. And if you want one of these, I'll tell you where to go. So you can get one. There's not very many of them left, especially this gold plated one. It's in. Yes. Okay. So the ignition switch to off, it is off. Turn the ignition switch on. Okay, it is on. Programming, programming, programming. Programming. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get that zero drive wrench. The thing comes in handy. It's one of the best tools I've ever had. Like I said, there's not very many of them left. Of the gold-plated ones, anyway. You might want to grab one while you can. We're going to let this finish up. Asbel data will be used. Okay. You have two options for entering the Asbel data module. Manual or automatic. Automatic. It was retrieved. Okay, configuring. Run the demand self test, blah, 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 blah. Check off. Check. Now I gotta go to the IVD under chassis braking. Chassis braking IVD. Check mark. 
Don't shake or bounce the vehicle. Ensure that you're not pressing the brake pedal. Park the vehicle on level ground. Do not depress the accelerator pedal during the test. Bring the steering wheel to the straight ahead position and do not move the steering wheel. Yes. So much stuff going on. Calibrate. Check mark. Ignition is on. Successful check mark exit, and then it said perform a self test and clear any codes. Oops, self test modules ABS. Pass, pass. Now we can exit out of here, and that is it. I'll put the fender liner back in and I'll go for a drive. Oh, I do want to show you what the old module looks like. Let me exit out of this. This is the old module. You're not going to have any fluid leak out of this when you do it. Remember, it was sitting up there like that. There's the four bolts. Literally unbolt it, pull it backwards, line the new one in, put your, put your four bolts in, plug it back in. But uh, your little plungers and everything, this is what controls them. Sends fluid where it needs to go and where it doesn't need to go. That's why they're like a little springy. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video of an ABS module install. And now it's just time to go drive this thing after I uh, put the wheel liner back in.